about, you know what I'm saying? Basically, why you got that grace, you know what I'm saying? Why the time is ticking, you know what I'm saying? Like the, uh, you got this show, The Days of Our Lives, you know, when they come on, they got this, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, kind of, they got the hourglass. And the sand is dwindling away, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, yep. it's just dwindling, you These know. are the days of our you know, lives. You don't get no, and they're going to get turned and flipped back over. Once that last grain of sand, you know, hit the bottom, you know what I'm saying? That's Time it. Up. You know what I'm saying? Time broken. is up. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm sure. saying? Yep. God. God. Yep. From the moment you know? we step into this world, it's a countdown to our death. God. You know? But it's for, for, for the basics of But for those that serve the most high, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, there's a countdown to salvation. Right, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey, uh, anybody got some? Oh, no. Okay. no, I got some. Because uh, we, we have uh, examples of suffering uh, through, through the holy men that came before us. And uh, his, his one of them. This is, uh, no, not no, black, 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 not black yeah. Israelites. We're, we're Israelites. Israelites. Just right. Israelites. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah. you got a question? No, I'm just one. Okay. okay, well, next time, don't come up here and interrupt by saying black Israelites, you know? Right. If you got a question, you can hold it until, until you know, the scriptures finish coming up. Right. All right, this is, this is uh, Hebrews 11 and, and uh, 23. It says, by faith, Moses. Matter of fact, I'll, because your brothers mentioned Joseph. I'll start at 22. Oh, I got yeah. one, bro. It says, by faith, Joseph, right. when he, when he uh, died, Made, made mention of departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he when he uh, when he was born, was hid three months in the in the uh, of his parents because they saw he was a proper child, and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, you know? But you, you got a bunch of people that, that choose to enjoy uh, the pleasures of sin here in America. And according to the scriptures, America is called the, uh, the uh, basically the, the one that dwelt carelessly, you know? So you got a bunch of people, a bunch of Israelites that are dwelling carelessly in this place and they're, they're not willing to suffer. When you come into this truth, you 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 uh you have to suffer, and that's the reason why Sirach the second chapter says. Uh, hey, now you go get can, that. You, can you grab you go it? Just go ahead and grab it. Uh, now, you got it? Oh, you, can I put up pull something? Go oh, ahead. Yeah, pull something. Yeah, because what he was he what, what the brother was speaking on was uh, about Moses, but what, what was known about Moses is faith. That's right. So this is what it says. This is uh, James one and three. It says, "No, go ahead." One second. And if you have faith, you're gonna be willing to suffer because you 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 you, uh, you can foresee that promise before you even even get there. That's the reason why the, uh, the scriptures say faith is the, is, the, is the substance of things not seen. You know, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So if you have faith, you have that ability to foresee. But foresee the promise before you even get to it. So you're going to endure. This is uh, James 1 and 3. It says, knowing this, knowing this, that trying your faith worketh patience. Not trying, it says, knowing this, that the, tr the trying of your faith worketh patience. So what's faith? Faith is believing. Well, and, and something. something. So what it does is, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna believe what those scriptures said, and you're gonna take hold to it. You're gonna let it process, and you're gonna let that, that spirit work with you. Because what do we have? Only we have faith, and you can only use faith to get through this, navigate through this goddamn godforsaken land, man. You can only use faith. You know, and, and then you got demons over there. See, because I'm saying it's the belief of this. Now, faith, you. Let's go. Go to uh, what you got? You got something? Did the Lord in the yeah, so identify those you, you gotta actually understand that we, we have to work our patience and now, understand that the people the, we like have to let the spirit right of the Lord now, guide us through this whole thing, man. Because there ain't no way we can get through this thing without so Yahweh by Shimia He places out here on the on the, on the highways and byways because of what our faith. You know, that's the belief of the belief in Yahweh by Shimia And only the true believers want to believe in this. Right. So they don't call you yeah, like, I, yeah, like, they don't call I brought out the definition of the name, so and it says uh, uh, a, 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 a reputation. And we out here spreading the reputation of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying, in hopes that we might be saved, right? 
Now, now, through us doing that, the Lord is going to make us suffer because of what's coming in the end. He has to choose. Let me read this because the brother wanted me to, I'm probably read it again when the brother come back and fall back in line. But uh, it's Ecclesiastes chapter 2. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. And that's one scripture that a lot of brothers have to really take in and let that sink in. When you serve the Lord, the Lord doesn't want to just give you everything. The Lord wants you to show your diligence, show your faith to him before he rewards you for anything. All right? Just like a parent, a, a righteous parent is not going to just give their kid anything. They're going to make them work for it and earn it. Why? Because they learn something in the process of trying to accomplish that or obtain that, that, that goal or reward. All right? It's a military. Right. Well, the Lord, if you're in the military, if you... If you too weak to get through the training, why would they keep you? Yeah, exactly. They get rid of you. Exactly. Thank you, brother. You can't, not not everybody can join the seals. Yeah. They kick your ass off, yeah, man. Yeah. Like 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 the brother said, the Lord. Look, not everybody can like he that endure to the end. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't endure to the end. So the Lord gonna try those that those that will gonna that are gonna get uh, endure to the end. It's a test. And those that are not gonna fall by the wayside. You know. But go ahead. Because basically this this is like boot camp. In order to, <laughs> right. to lead on to the new world that's about to come in. Right. You know what I mean? Because if you can't be strong enough to endure this world, how are you going to be able to rule the next world that is to come? Yeah, kind of like I. Uh, you said it's boot camp. That's the all brothers coming up with some y'all on fire right now. Hey, uh, you said this is like boot camp, this is spiritual boot camp, because in boot camp, it's nothing but pain. All right? Nothing but suffering, man. That's And it's, it's a punishment, too. It, 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 one of the things, if you. Uh, you Break the law, you saw make you go and do like 90 days of boot camp, six months of boot camp, and, and for uh for an alternative to just going to jail, you know, if you know, you, you know, but but yeah, I like that. I, but I, I brought out this uh Ecclesiastes 2 already. You want me to read it?